What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and this is a how to tutorial on basic shortcuts in Logic Pro. So, we're going to begin from the very beginning. So, bear with me if you already know this, and I probably know you do, but I'm just going to do it so we get all this easy stuff out the door and quickly and move off onto harder and cooler things in Logic Pro. Copying and pasting in Logic Pro is very simple. All you have to do is select the region you would like to copy. Hit Command C or Apple C. Select the area where you want to paste it to and hit Apple V. The easiest way to copy and paste in Logic Pro is the option drag method. All you have to do is select the region you want, hold down the option key, click and drag the region to the desired location. Now you have copied and pasted all in one click. And remember, if you hit Apple Z or Command Z, this allows you to undo your last edit. There are a couple ways to create a new track in Logic. One way is to duplicate a track. By duplicating a track, all you have to do is select the track you want to duplicate, hit Apple D on your keyboard, and now you have duplicated the track with all its plugins and parameters intact. Another way is Option Command N. This allows you to select and create an entirely new track. So let's hit Option Command N. And a window comes up that allows you to create an audio track, software instrument track, external mini track. For this case, I'll just select software instrument track. And now you have created an entirely new track. If you ever find yourself away from your MIDI keyboard and need to sketch an idea fairly quickly, you can use Logix Pro's built-in virtual keyboard. All you have to do to use it is hit the caps lock key. This brings up the virtual keyboard, allowing you to input any information, MIDI information, and control your software instrument at ease. Let's record something quickly in Logic. By doing this, we hit R on our keyboard. I'm going to bring up my virtual keyboard to input MIDI data, and I'm going to start playing. As you continue mixing in Logic and recording in Logic, you will find quicker ways and easier ways to do things. One way which I found was using the escape tool. Now I don't know if it's officially called that, but I call it the escape tool. Let's bring it up by hitting the escape key on our keyboard. This brings up an array of tools that we can use. For example, the pointer tool, the pencil tool, the eraser tool. But for now, I'm just going to look at the pointer tool and the scissors tool. The pointer tool allows you to move any region within your logic session. The scissors tool allows you to cut your region wherever you would like. A quicker way to access the tools in the escape tool is by hitting the number that corresponds with the tool. Let's take a deeper look. Number one corresponds with pointer tool, number two corresponds with pencil tool, number three eraser tool, and so on. So if I just hit escape and hit the number three on the keyboard, I have got my eraser tool. If I hit escape and five, I've got my scissors tool. Cool. Class is now out of session.